now at 11, running for president. And I've decided I'm a candidate for president of the United States of America. Former Florida Governor Jeb Bush makes it official. And the former governor will run on his record here in Florida as he joins a crowded Republican field. Good evening, I'm Rick Fulbaum. And I'm Erica Sargent. He chose Miami to announce to the world that he is, in fact, officially running for president of the United States of America. CBS 4's David Seta joins us live from the site of today's speech, Miami-Dade College's Kindle campus. David. Yeah, you know, there wasn't many surprises today with Jeb coming out and announcing his candidacy, but the one surprise that was there was what was missing. This is the official logo for the Jeb campaign. He doesn't have his father or brother's last name on there. Basically, he's using the same campaign he used when he ran for governor, basically trying to say he's his own man. And I've decided I'm a candidate for president of the United States of America. Six months after establishing an exploratory committee, Jeb Bush made his presidential run official. Miami-Dade College's Kendall campus was packed. The 62-year-old former governor of Florida came out touting his record as the difference. I know we can fix this because I've done it. If elected, Bush is pledging to grow the economy at 4% a year, energy independence in five years, to rebuild the military and take on Cuba only if it's truly a free country. We need an American president to go to Havana in solidarity with a free Cuban people, and I'm ready to be that president. Bush joins a crowded field of nearly a dozen candidates. Some polls indicate he leads the field slightly, though there is a long way to go. Campaigns aren't easy. And they're not supposed to be. And I know that there are a lot of good people running for president. Quite a few, in fact. <laughs> and not one of us deserves the job by right of resume, party, seniority, family, or family narrative. It's nobody's turn. It's everybody's test. And it's wide open, exactly as a contest for president should be. I didn't come here as a Jeb Bush uh, supporter but I'm leaving here as a supporter. Many Republicans in the crowd were moved, many representing a demographic the GOP will need in 2016. I think he represents the new Republican Party, a new era of the GOP, and it's, it includes young people and minorities and really all, all Americans. It's not gonna be about race for him. It's gonna be about what does your child need? What does your mother need? What does your business need? What does your school, ch school need? That's the kind of the president he's gonna be. Immigration, though, could be a sticking point. As a representative of the college, I'm asking you guys to leave. Before and during Jeb's announcement, protesters interrupted, looking for immigration so reform. Bush didn't skip a beat. The next president of the United States will pass meaningful immigration reform so that that will be solved, not by executive order. While Jeb appears to have the support of the Republican establishment, he wrapped his speech promising to fight like he doesn't. I will take nothing and no one for granted. I will run with heart and I will run to win. And so the official campaign begins. He's off to New Hampshire. Tomorrow will have his first event at noon. Then he goes to Iowa, Nevada, South Carolina. A very busy week, and coming to think about it, could be a very busy 17 months. From Kendall, David Soto, CBS 4 News, tonight. Thank you, David.